Hey everyone, just before the video starts, it is Movember and I am raising money, I am raising awareness and I'm going to be growing the absolute worst, the most atrocious moustache you've ever seen. You can see my little avatar has already got one on. So this is just a quick message to ask if you can donate, if you can afford to donate just a little bit, even if it's just a little bit, that would be greatly appreciated. Follow the link in the description or in the channel home about page. Go on to the, uh, the most space is what it's called. Click your donation, leave a little message. And if you do want to donate, leave in that little message a gaming related challenge for me to undertake. I will do my absolute best to get it done. We're just raising a little bit of money. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Whoa. <clears throat> Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Hmm. She has found a ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue fiance? There is a shop south of the Temple Basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. I will get the ritual item fast, and then hunt down the birds. Abandoned tomb. The maid servant said there was a shop here. Strange place for a shop. Founder, welcome to my humble shop. A Magi? How? I have not seen your kind in some time, Magi. We are a rare breed. As are merchants who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. They do not seem to appreciate variety. My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course. I'll leave you to browse. Excuse me, but I have some business to attend to. I'll be back soon. Hmm. Nothing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Ah, uh, she is hiding something. In the second chamber lie the worldly goods of Orapolo and Shesh, to protect them and provide them sustenance. The message is incomplete. I wonder what the rest of it says. Speaking magical rules, stand to us for common value. An inventory. The talisman in blue faience is listed here. I should keep looking around. to see this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. A fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased.
Come on! Ah! Then you have browsed long enough, Medjay. You're scaring our customers. Take a few feathers for Tamhotep's ritual. That is all the items. Now to meet Tamhotep on the road to the pyramids. Uh. Oh. Excuse me, I'm looking for a man named Bayek. I found what you need, Tamhotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the Pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. Then let us ride to the Pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. <laughs> let us make haste. This is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My ritual must remain private. Is that also why we travel off the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. 
And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nebet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. Oh, Mara, we have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices carry to unfriendly ears. Good idea. Whoa. We are here. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. Patar's blessing on you. Every morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me. For I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. <laughs> 